Good morning, good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for joining us today. Here, I would like to talk about the digital divide in education and how we can deal with it. We all know that the digital technology has a huge impact on education, but not everyone has equal access to these benefits. The pandemic has made this very clear. School closures have disrupted the education of more than 1.5 billion students around the world. Some communities were able to react quickly using strong digital infrastructure and affordable devices to keep children safe and in class. These communities are fortunate. However, 50% of the world's population still has no internet access. And devices are not affordable in many countries. Even if people have devices in those countries, they don't have the digital skills to use them. The fact is, we have a lack of digital inclusion in education. And the gap is increasing because technology is changing so fast. So what can we do? To be honest, promoting equal access to good education is a big challenge, but it is not impossible. We have the tools and the resources needed, but we have to put them to work. As a technology company, Huawei wants to help with connectivity, applications, and skills. Last year, we launched an initiative called Tech for All. The goal of this initiative is to make sure that every person can benefit from digital technology and that every person has a place in the digital world. Education is one of the four focuses of this program. We want to help make quality education available everywhere, anytime, and to everyone. We focus on two areas, developing digital skills and connecting schools. Let me give you more details. To develop digital skills, we mostly work with young adults in remote communities to create better opportunities. We do this in several ways, like the mobile learning truck you can see right here. This is in Kenya, and we call it the DigiTruck. Working with local partners, we drive the truck around to different villages where we teach basic digital skills like searching for information on the internet. They were never taught this before, and we hope that these new skills can help them find new opportunities in their lives. We're going to expand this program to five more countries over the next two years, including France and Philippines. We're also working to connect the schools. This includes providing internet connectivity, digital devices, educational content, and digital training for teachers and the students in remote communities. Let me show you why. Back in February, I visited a primary school in Johannesburg. The kids are very bright and eager to learn. And the teachers are passionate about their work. But the school has very limited resources. As you can see here, they have a computer lab, but it's basically a storage closet. They don't use any of it, not because they don't want to, but because they don't have anyone to teach computer classes and they don't have internet access in the school. These children will grow up un unconnected from the digital world, which will have a huge impact on their lives. There are many schools like this in many countries around the world and we can make a big difference with some simple steps. In South Africa, we started a project called DigiSchool. We partnered with a local telecom carrier, Ring, and the local nonprofit 
organization called Click Foundation. This is how we do it. Huawei provides network equipment, smart tablets, and operational support. RIM provides free network services. Click Foundation provides content and teaching resources. Very soon, the kids in this school will be set up for e-learning, starting with English classes. Over the next year, our goal is to connect 100 primary schools in South Africa. We are working with 12 right now. If we reach our goal, we can bring new opportunities to more than 50,000 young kids. And that's only one project in one country. The world is hurting right now, but this pandemic is also a good opportunity to push for change. We cannot solve all education challenges overnight, but if we can work together, we can do more. Platforms like the UNESCO Global Education Coalition and Huawei's Tech for All are a great way to coordinate efforts and resources around the world. Everyone brings a unique skill or resource to the table. I hope today's discussion can help us explore these topics more. Thank you.